Good day everyone. Today I'm going to do a little review about a product that I bought off uh, icstation.com. I'm going to post a website in the comment in the link uh, in the bar below. And uh, today is a little DC to DC buck converter, meaning that you input higher voltage and it will <coughs> input a lower voltage. And right now, as you can see, it is set to display, to uh, regulate it at 4.5 volts. And if I press the set, I can actually set the amp limit, which is actually very interesting. The uh, amp limit goes in increment of one. And if you hold the button, is actually, it goes faster. So uh, you don't need to wait super long for, uh, have it to adjust it. And the same thing for the voltage. It increments in a uh, tenth of a of a volt, which is actually pretty interesting. Depending on the project that you wanted to do, uh, this little power supply can actually take up to 40 volts at the input, and will give you an output from well almost zero to the maximum voltage that you are supplying it at a maximum of uh, three amp which is actually pretty good pretty awesome there's three LEDs right here on the side which will actually display uh, the output the short circuit or current limiting and if the correct volt is out the output now right now I have my voltmeter here for displaying volt uh, this is just a voltage in the cap and I have my milliamp setting here and I have an LED uh, this LED can withstand up to 100 milliamps, so it doesn't really matter uh, if I put it lower. So I'm going to actually activate it so you can actually see. Right now it sets, it's set at 4.8 volts, which technically if you put 4.8 volts in a diode, in an LED, everybody knows what's going to happen. It's not going to be very happy. So let's start it, and as you can see, it only gives me 3.9 volts and the yellow LED is actually on meaning that it's actually uh, limiting the current and as you can see right now it's pushing roughly 18 milliamps so let's go on both multimeters see if those are correct 3.10 volts 3.9 it's so let's say 3. Point, let, let it on 3.9 and milliamp is actually pretty close to what I said it 19.9 milliamps it is actually pretty good and my LED is nice and shiny doesn't get warm and I don't burn it so this can actually be useful for uh, finding the forward current uh, forward voltage drop of LEDs diodes zener depending well up to uh, the maximum voltage that this can output and uh, the only thing that I did is I put it on one of my uh, 25 volts power supply that I modified a little bit so it gives me 26 volt so I can have up to 26 volt here and this power supply can give me up to 6 amp so I'm never gonna go into uh, overcurrent protection for the power supply and this one actually self limit at 3 amps so this is my little uh, DC to DC review and it's an awesome product I recommend it for people who wants to buy a little uh, very very inexpensive power supply and very stable I have it running for a couple of days now before I done the review I've tested with LEDs with all bunch of stuff and uh, varying load I have some flickering LEDs wandering around and these actually vary uh, depending on the intensity and this power supply actually perform outstanding and it goes for about twenty dollars so twenty dollars the only thing you need is a power supply well something that will give you the maximum voltage that you need so from anywhere from a uh, transpo to actually a computer power supply you're all set so uh, thanks for watching have a good day